Hello, Royal folks. It's good to see you all here again. This is your regular dose of Royal News and Analysis. Before we move on to any further details, I would really love to thank all of you, each and every one of you, for your enormous love and support. And in case you haven't yet subscribed yet, I mean, what are you waiting for, guys? Hit that subscribe button now. Also, please don't forget to press that bell icon. The young royals put on a very brave and dignified display of devotion to their beloved Gangan Gan at the state funeral on Monday. Prince George and Princess Charlotte, new surname, has been revealed for the very first time at the Queen's state funeral. The Prince and Princess of Wales children will now carry the surname of Wales rather than Cambridge after their parents were bestowed the new title. The new surname was seen for the first time in public on the Queen's funeral order of service. The children's father, William, and uncle, Prince Harry, both carry the surname of Wales when they were growing up. Prince Louis, who did not attend yesterday's state funeral, will also have the surname Wales. Royal expert Angela Muller told Wales Online, this must have been an enormous few days for Catherine. She's taken on a new role herself. She's also got to teach her very young children, age nine, seven, and four, that their surnames have changed. They are no longer George, Charlotte, and Louise Cambridge. They are now George, Charlotte, and Louise Wales. Any parent will recognize that when you've taught a young child how to spell their name, that's the name they're knowing to among their classmates. It comes after King Charles appointed Kate and William, the Prince and Princess of Wales, when he addressed the nation for the very first time as monarch. Kate became the first royal to be named Princess of Wales since Princess Diana. Charles said, It's my heir. William now assumes the Scottish titles, which have meant so much to me. He succeeds me as the Duke of Cornwall, and takes on the responsibility for the Duchy of Cornwall, which I have undertaken for more than five decades. Today I am proud to create him Prince of Wales, the Sancerie, the country whose title I have so greatly privileged to bear, so much of my life and duty. With Catherine beside him, our new Prince and Princess of Wales will, I know, continue to inspire and lead our nation conversations, helping to bring the marginal to the center ground where vital help can be given. Future King, Prince George, and his sister Charlotte charmed the nation on Monday when they played a major role during the solemn day to bid farewell to their loved Gan Gan. The royal siblings, great-grandchildren of the Queen, were among 2,000 guests at her state funeral and were the youngest members of the royal family to follow the Queen's coffin through Westminster Abbey. They also attended the committal service at St. George's Chapel at Windsor Castle later in the afternoon. In Westminster Abbey, George, 9, Princess Charlotte, 7, walked behind the Queen's coffin as part of a solemn process before hundreds of guests in the Gothic church and watched them from afar by a huge international TV audience. As the young royals followed their great-grandmother's coffin, flanked by their parents, the Prince and Princess of Wales, Charlotte held her hands clasped in front of her, while George had his arms by his side. The foursome walked a little behind King, Charles, and Camilla, Queen Consort, and ahead of the Duke and Duchess of Sussex. So what do you think about this news, guys? Do you think that George and Charlotte will overcome Harry and Meghan's presence in the royal family? Write it down in the comments below, and let me know what you think. Until then, I guess we'll just have to wait and see if things turn out to be something after all. Also, if you never want to miss any of my Sizzling Royal updates like this, subscribe and press that bell icon. It's as simple as that. So until next time, hasta la vista.